Hey, do you want the Dolphins to beat the Jets? Then you gotta like this video. And don't just scroll past. I mean, I'm not the most superstitious person in the world, but if you don't want the Dolphins to lose, you gotta like this video, because if you don't, you'll jinx it. Dolphins need to bounce back on the Jets, and we've got a lot to talk about on this edition of Dolphins Today. Hey, welcome into this edition of Dolphins Today. We're gearing up for the Dolphins Week 15 matchup against the New York Jets, but we got a lot to talk about on today's show. I'll be your host, Jake Ritma, and unfortunately, this time of the year in the National Football League, those injury reports get longer and longer, so tons of injury updates to get to. Tyreek Hill, Devon Achan, and plenty of more. Javon Holland, Deshaun Elliott on the defensive side. Oh yeah, we're going to talk about each and every one of them that are on this week's injury report. It's a lengthy one, but don't worry, we've got some good news at the end of today's video. Pro Bowl voting is underway, and those Miami Dolphins are well represented. So let's dial it in, buckle up, and get right to it. As I mentioned, brace yourself. This injury report is lengthy, starting with Devon Achan struggling with a toe injury. Teron Armstead missed that Monday night football game against the Titans. Liam Eikenberg with some bumps and bruises after the Monday night football game. And obviously, he's going to play a big role at center with Connor Williams out for the year. Deshaun Elliott in concussion protocol, also dealing with a ribs injury. Tyree Kill, oh yeah, he sprained his ankle on Monday night football against the Titans. Of course, left that game, came back in, but admitted he was not 100%. Xavier Howard had some friendly fire from Brandon Jones and has a lingering hip issue that he's working through. Robert Hunt has had that nagging hamstring injury for what seems like months now, and Raheem Mostert were arrested this week as he is really the focal point of the Dolphins' backfield. So, that injury report, it's not done yet. There's more that were limited in practice this week. Chris Brooks still trying to come back from IR. A lot of people believe he will be the one to utilize one of the Dolphins' two remaining activation spots from IR is working through that knee injury he suffered against the Broncos all the way back in week three. Javon Holland, good news here. He was limited in practice this week. And Javon Holland's a guy that's missed the last two games and the Dolphins have certainly felt his absence, especially down the stretch against the Tennessee Titans in that Monday night game. Austin Jackson, he's been the model of consistency at that right tackle position, was limited in practice with the oblique injury. He also just inked a brand new contract. And given the injury bug on the offensive line, you hope Austin Jackson is a guy that can go. And obviously the same can be said on the defensive side with Andrew Van Ginkle. Obviously Jalen Phillips gone for the season and Andrew Andrew Van Ginkle stepping in, and really the Dolphins' defense haven't lost much with Andrew Van Ginkle in there. Had a wonderful game against the Washington Commanders. Stuffs the stat sheet with the sack, the pick six, and the list goes on. So, as we tell you on this, if you're new around here, when Dolphins news and injury news happens, we make a video. That's why you turn on your notifications so you don't miss a thing. We keep you updated on everything around the aqua and orange. All right, let's start from the top, if you will, with arguably the most dynamic player in the National Football League, Tyreek Hill. We saw what this Dolphins offense was without him, very pedestrian. We know what he is capable of doing, and the stats jump off the page and continue to jump off the page, even though he had just over 60 yards receiving in that Monday night football game against the Titans. Look at the numbers on that page. 12 touchdowns to lead all receivers, over 1,500 yards to lead all receivers. Tyreek Hill is that guy, and a lot of people kind of laughed when he publicly came out and said at the beginning of this season that he's going to have over 2,000 yards receiving. I mean, we're talking about something that's never been done in the National Football League before. Four. Obviously, Calvin Johnson, the most receiving yards in a single su season with just over 1,900. So for Tyreek to publicly declare he's going for 2K, a lot of people laughed at that. But lo and behold, even with the injury on Monday Night Football, he's on pace for that. Check that at the bottom right of your screen. Over 2,047 yards if he keeps up the pace 
that he's compiled through the first 13 weeks of the National Football League. So you hope he can go against the New York Jets. We saw how tough of a guy he was. He said when he left the game against the Titans, his wife texted him and said, get your ass back on the field. So I need you to predict it in the comments. You think Tyreek Hill plays against the New York Jets? It's real simple. Type Y for yes or N for no. The second part of that dynamic offense, and not even just second part, but one of the main ingredients has been the rookie phenom, Devon A. Chan. We saw what he could do early in the season, but this is now his third injury of the season. He had the knee injury that put him on IR, and then after the Raiders game, he kind of re-aggravated that, and now dealing, he's dealt with some rib injuries, and now dealing with the toe injury, and again, three different injuries. I know it's the National Football League, and it's a violent, violent game, and he's a running back, but it's going to take some hits, but you look at the production, and he's a guy the Dolphins need. The yards per carry has come down a little bit. Remember, it was at a staggering 12.1 yards per carry when he went on IR. Now down to 9-2. Really, really struggling. 9.2 yards per carry. No, I kid. I kid. But 63 carries, 581 yards with the seven touchdowns. He's a dynamic player that the Dolphins desperately need in their lineup. So hopefully he's able to shake off that toe injury. But again, a little bit of concern with the durability of Devon Achan with that already being the third different injury he's suffered during this season. Now, coming up, we've got more injury news to get to. I told you it's a lengthy one, so bear with me. But first and foremost, i got to give a huge shout-out to today's presenting sponsor, and that is Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the largest independently-owned daily fantasy sports platform, so you know it's the best. And if you're out of the fantasy football playoffs, who cares? Prize Picks is way more fun to play anyways. you got to go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. That's where the magic happens. We've got a $100 deposit match with waiting for you at pricepicks.com slash CLNS. We'll put that link in the description of today's video as well. And this is pretty cool from Prize Picks. They're doing Pixmas. That's right, Pixmas. They're giving out 12 days of brand new promos. So you got to open up that app each and every day to see what those promos are. We've also got something exciting going with Goblins and Demons. It's a little bit crazy, but you have to open up your app to see what it's all about. Demons are a little bit wild, statistically harder to get, but you can win up to $100 or 100 times your money, which is just crazy. Goblin's a little bit safer there. But anyways, you got to go to pricepick.com slash CLNS and check out what I'm working with this week. I'm keeping it simple. I'm picking more with Tua's projected passing yards for that game against the Jets and less for Zach Wilson's projected passing yards. Not too complicated, is it? And I feel good about that. But anyways, you got to go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS. That's where the magic happens. Pricepicks.com slash CLNS up to a $100 deposit match. All right, we've talked about the injuries on the offensive side of the ball. How about the injuries in the secondary? And unfortunately, just like the offensive side of the ball, there are plenty to get to. This from Joe Shad, one of the Dolphins' insiders. Mike McDaniel says, Devon H. and Xavier Howard are both on no. So we talked about H. M., but now how about Xavier Howard, one of the focal points in the Dolphins' secondary, and he is working through some things. And... You know what's interesting about that? It's a personal PR on the injury report. A lot of person, you know, people really want to go, and there's a lot of question marks around this Dolphins team gearing up for that game against the New York Jets. So, uh, Xavier Howard, Devon Achan, both big question marks this week against the Jets. And how about Javon Holland? Boy, if the Dolphins missed him the last two games. And what would it be a better time for him to come back than against the Jets, that team he had the 99-yard interception return against? It was electrifying, but he's been a staple this entire season. Look at the numbers, 70 tackles, four pass breakups, and the one interception was very memorable. He took it back 99 yards to the house against the Jets. So hopefully Javon Holland can go dealing with two sprained MCLs, one on both knee, and hard to really make it up at this point. But Javon Holland's missed the last two games. Hopefully he can go. He's gearing towards that. But again, like Mike McDaniel said, a lot of questions. Now, Deshaun Elliott had to leave the game not once, but twice against the Tennessee Titans. First left with concussion like symptoms, then came back into the game after he was medically cleared. 
but following a couple of possessions, he verbally complained about the similar symptoms. So at that point, you bring him out for the rest of the game, and he goes into concussion protocol, also working through some rib injuries. So hopefully he's able to give it a go on Sunday against the New York Jets because they're starting to drop like flies. Look at the Dolphins' depth chart in the safety. Javon Hollins missed the last two games. If Deshaun Elliott can't go, then it's up to Brandon Jones and Elijah Campbell. So you got to be honest with me. Is there a lot of concern mounting with the Dolphins secondary? You got to let me know. What's your exact concern level? Scale it for me in the comments. One through ten. Ten if you're like, hey, we can't do this, man. I, I don't trust it. Or one if, eh, next man up. It'll be fine. Let me know either way in the comments. And I think the best way to sum up, sum up all the Dolphins injury news is Mike McDaniel's quote. And as often, it's pretty, you know, McDaniel's pretty entertaining guy. Gets the crowd laughing. But uh, this time, when asked about the availability for Sunday, Mike McDaniel kept it pretty brief. There are a lot of question marks. So there you have it, straight from the head coach himself. And you, me, everybody around the Aqua and Orange are certainly dealing with the injury news and the injury bugs. And the best way to summarize is there are a lot of of question marks. So, might be a little depressing. So, let's talk some good news for a second. The Dolphins have been well represented in the Pro Bowl voting. This is kind of wild when you think about all the players that are leading their respected positions in Pro Bowl voting. I'm going to run through every single one of these because I think it's certainly noteworthy. Leading quarterback in the AFC, Tua Tungavailoa. Leading running back, Raheem Mostert. Leading fullback, Alec Engel. Leading wide receiver, Tyreek Hill. And now on defense, Jalen Ramsey, despite not playing a lot of the game, or a lot of the games this season, missing some time. He is your leading cornerback, Braxton Berrios, a return special team, and Duke Riley, also a special teams uh, player, is the leading vote getter there. So seven total players leading their respective positions in the Pro Bowl voting. So you got to show these guys some love. Let me know in the comments. Type PB to spam those Pro Bowl comments and continue voting for our Dolphins because, yes, it was a setback last week on Monday Night Football, but it's a new week this week, and Mike McDaniel and the Dolphins are going to be ready to go against the Jets. And, hey, you made it to the end of the video, so if you haven't yet, like this video. That like police is going to come right after you. And we know, we know, we know who likes the video and who doesn't. But looking forward to another tremendous game of Dolphins football on Sunday. Remember, we'll have our live watch party an hour before kickoff. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. Shout out to producer Chip on the ones and twos. Couldn't get the show done without him. Really appreciate it. Until next time, we'll talk to you later on Dolphins Today.